This is Dabu 7, and we have had an impact of an asteroid here on planet Earth. This 2022 EB-5 struck Earth just north of Iceland. As you can see in this infographic, it became the fifth asteroid to be discovered prior to impacting Earth. They literally discovered this thing, and then two hours later, it hits Earth. See it coming in right here and impacting right there above Iceland. What's interesting is the other day when we were looking at this, this exact region on the earthquake map had a couple registered earthquakes right in that exact same spot around the exact same time. So they definitely picked up that impact on the ocean. Did not cause anything significant in terms of tsunamis or, or major damage. But it is an asteroid that came in and struck Earth. And they only had a couple hours to detect it. This shows that these things can pop up and slide in rather quickly. And there's literally nothing that they can do to stop them. Coming in at super fast speeds. And they were able, when they caught this thing coming in, to calculate its trajectory. And calculated that it was going to come in and strike just north of Iceland. Give or take a few kilometers. And they were right on the money. So it's good that they can pick up these things. The downside is when it comes to nature and space and incoming objects like this, it could happen at any time. It could happen all the time. And I have a funny feeling it's happened more than what people even realize. But what happens when one of these impacts hits a city? Different story. Hits a coastline where it can cause a tsunami. I will take you back to one of the more recent impacts, which was inside of India, where it did leave a hole in the ground, although it did not leave massive devastation. It was a smaller rock, penetrated the earth, did leave a hole, but again, did not destroy the city or anything like that. So it all depends on the size, the velocity, and all that stuff. But fact of the matter is, these things are raining down. So you never know when you're gonna catch something like this it's said that these things are worth big money as well, depending on the composition and the makeup of the rock. But uh, eyes to the skies. It's been Dapu 7. Much love.